What's up guys, Time Jim here, and today I will be talking about X-Men Days of Future Past. Uh, I recently went to go see it with a bunch of uh, my buddies, uh, with the, uh, a lot of the FGC here. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, an incredible movie, it's awesome. Um, if you haven't uh, seen it, gone and seen it already, I highly, highly suggest you go, you go see it now, uh, because in this video I will be uh, posting spoilers for it. I will be talking about spoilers for it because uh, I'll be talking about, about potential uh, stuff after the movie and stuff like that. So if you haven't seen it yet, you know, don't watch this video yet until you've seen the movie and then come back and watch this movie. Watch this uh, video, I'm sorry. Mm, excuse me. But, um, yeah, this movie was awesome. I mean, it had everything, you know, you'd want out of an X-Men movie. And, uh, you know, good, good acting, uh, plenty of drama, plenty of action. Uh, the story ran around really good, um, you know, uh, you might find a couple plot holes and uh, inconsistencies here and there, uh, but at the end of the movie, you'll find out why there's stuff like that, and, you know, it, so, so, you know, it's, uh, it's a really good movie, uh, lots of deaths, <laughs> lots of really bad deaths for some of the mutants, um, particularly Colossus. Uh, Iceman, uh, Storm, which is surprising. I was very shocked to see that. Um, man, you know, uh, just just a just a, a lot of them. Uh, some cameos here and there. Uh, you know, references and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I want to say though uh, about the movie though, uh, a lot of people didn't have high expectations for it. I didn't have high expectations going to this movie. Um, you know, just for the for the initial you know past couple movies we've seen with uh, with the X Men franchise, with the exception of First Class, which was awesome. Um, so uh, you know, I didn't. So I didn't really have high, high expectations going, going into this, uh, particularly with the costume with Quicksilver. I was like, oh no, that's bad. Uh, but however, they more than made up for it with uh, Quicksilver's personality in the movie. Um, he's the same actor that uh, plays a lot of the roles in American Horror Story. So, you know, I even though I saw the costume, I was like, oh, maybe I might give him a chance and stuff like that. But I'm glad they picked that actor because he stole the show. It was awesome. He had some great scenes. Uh, they even made reference to the relationship between Magneto and himself. So, so yeah, we didn't get to see Scarlet Witch, his twin sister, Wanda, in this movie, uh, but um, never fear that there is a sequel coming, and also we do have The Age of Ultron, uh, which is we will be in theaters in a few years, so, uh, or next year, is it next year? I'm not sure. Yeah, next year. Um, but yeah, so Scarlet Witch fans, like myself, if you're, you know, want to see that, don't worry, it'll come soon. You just have to, um, you, you'll have to uh, just wait for that. But all in all, the movie is fantastic. Go see it. You know, it's well worth your money. Uh, you'll you'll enjoy every minute of it. Every minute of it. Um, like I said, the casting choices were perfect. Um, the story was awesome. Uh, a time traveling story, so you really have to kind of pay attention to it. Um, but yeah, great movie. Great uh, comic adaptation, and yeah, go see it. Um, one of the characters I really did like, though, that really didn't really get much screen time was Blink. And um, yeah, I really, I really dug her because she she did some really awesome stuff, and they used her powers uh, in various ways that I didn't really think of her capable of doing. So, um, so yeah, it, I, I really like Blink. I really hope. They bring a wreck for the sequel. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but uh, and that she actually gets a a, a speaking voice, a, a speaking role for for a while because um, I really like this character. Uh, you know, she uh, she like I said, she did some really awesome stuff with her powers and stuff like that. I did like Warpath too, um, but the. They didn't give him much screen time, and he didn't really get to do much other than die <laughs> a lot. So, um, 
and in horrible, horrible ways. Um, so yeah, but I do. I, I really liked Blink as a character. I liked her in in the original Age of Apoc Apocalypse storyline. So um, I really do hope that they give her a bigger role in the next movie if she's in the next movie. Um, because I really liked the way they used her powers and you know just. It was cool. It was cool. I I, I liked it. I liked the, the her powers and use, and uh, you know I thought she she made a very kick-ass character. So um, yeah, uh, Blink. You know, and, and if they do bring back Warpath, I really hope he does more stuff than just die. So I mean, he dies in the comic when he first came through, but yeah, he died pretty bad both times. So yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. Spoilers ahead, like I said, so this is going to be a big spoiler, so if you don't know, stop now. Okay, so, at the end of the scene, at the end of the movie, we see Apocalypse in his younger years, with the four horsemen in the background. And this was like, oh my god, this was awesome, and stuff like that. The, the, the crowd starts chanting in Saba Nur, which is his name in, in, the, uh, in the comics, his real name. And we do see the Four Horsemen of Apocalypse in the background, as you can see in the corner right there. Um, and from our boy, uh, uh, JJ, there's the scene, man. We have, there's the scene right there. The Four Horsemen of Apocalypse are confirmed as in, in this scene. So, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, so, this got me thinking. Who's going to be in the next movie? Uh, what, who are going to be the Four Horsemen uh, or possible Four Horsemen? Uh, this had my mind going crazy, so I had, that's why I took so long to sort of digest the, the, the scene and, and sort of take a look and reflect. So, the first horseman, and the first obvious choice, of course, for the sequel, it has to be Archangel. Um, because in the comics, and in the cartoons, and stuff like that, and animated series, whatever, uh, he is the prime choice for being, you know, Horseman of Apocalypse, because... You know, he's he's the arch, arch, Archangel of Death. And, um, yeah, he's the, the Archangel of Death. And, uh, he's like I said, he's pretty much the, uh, the the first thing you think of when you think of Apocalypse. Uh, yeah, the, I, I, I would be so happy to see this. Uh, and we had, did see Angel in previous X-Men movies, so to see him like this would be so awesome. Oh my gosh, it'd be incredible. It'd be fantastic, and I would love every second of it, so... This would be a fine choice for a character in a Horseman Apocalypse in uh, the next movie. So an another thing, obvious choice that would be uh, for the next movie would would obviously be uh, Mr. Sinister because uh, you know both Mr. Sinister and the Apocalypse have worked hand in hand numerous numerous times, and uh, so this would be no. No doubt, and stuff like that. This would be an obvious no-brainer. Um, would it be a, a Horseman of Apocalypse? Uh, yeah, I could see him being a Horseman of Apocalypse, uh, but in a more traditional right-hand man type of uh, sense. Not so much engaging a lot of the times, but sort of working in the background and uh, causing a lot of trouble for the X-Men. But this is an obvious choice. Uh, I would love to see Sinister finally on the screen. It would be incredible, and I would love, 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 love to see Mr. Sinister uh, in an X-Men movie. Done right. Another obvious choice uh, for the next movie would be obviously Cable, because Cable and Apocalypse have a long history of fighting each other. And, you know, it, it, it would just fit. It would just fit. Cable and Apocalypse duking it out. And, uh, you know... Yeah, it's just the obvious choice. Um, and it fit, it fit with the whole time motif, too. Uh, the time theme and stuff like that. Um, another thing as well, um, I don't know if, if, if any of you caught it. Uh, if you watched the movie, if you caught it. Um, did you guys notice that one of the kids in the very beginning uh, had gray hair and had the M right there on the, on the, on the, on the side right there? I could have sworn that was Cable. I'm not sure. Uh, once it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray, I'll have to listen to the commentary. But I am very, very certain that was Cable 
cameo in the, in the beginning. So, yeah. Hopefully I'm right. Uh, another possible horseman could be Holocaust. Um, you know, Holocaust was introduced in the uh, Age of Apocalypse storyline. And, uh, you know, I would like to see him here because he pretty much... Uh, would be an obvious choice because he has been associated with Apocalypse a lot too in the comics so um, you know this would be a, a pretty good choice a relatively good choice I think and uh, you know he, I think he'd make an awesome character I think the CGI on him it would be great and it just makes for some interesting stuff uh, you know seeing a mutant like this would probably be scare a lot of people uh, but you know all in all, I think it would be a, a tough, tough fight for a lot of the X-Men and have some good fight scenes with them. And, um, yeah, I think it would be a great, great choice for uh, a Horseman of Apocalypse. Uh, and the last one, but not least, um, kind of unlikely, but I think it would be good, would be uh, Wolverine as uh, is either Death or as War. I'm thinking leaning, leaning toward, toward War because he is sort of violent and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, an alternate Wolverine. Like the one we've seen uh, in this movie. So, um, yeah, I would love to see this. Uh, and especially a Wolverine on Wolverine fight uh, would be cool. Uh, in the comics, though, um, Wolverine is death uh, from alternate timeline. However, uh, the title of war, an alternate war, was given to Hulk. And he fought Juggernaut. And he just beat the crap out of Juggernaut when he fought him and stuff like that. Because... Well, it's a long story. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a whole thing about Apocalypse and stuff like that. But uh, all in all, I think this would be a cool choice and uh, would be interesting to see in the movie. So let's talk about a possible uh, sequel to the sequel, uh, basically. Uh, if, if Age of Age of Apocalypse does very well, uh, let's talk about what the possibilities are afterwards. Uh, could we see uh, the indication of maybe an Age of Apocalypse movie? Uh, if so, uh, that would be awesome because if you watch X-Men and uh, X-Men, Wolverine and the X-Men, uh, you get the, you get to see the possibility of what could have been of uh, Age of Apocalypse storyline in, uh, Wolverine and the X-Men, which I would have been so happy to see, but we never got to see it. Uh, so... Any type of Age of Apocalypse storyline would be awesome. Movie form, animated form, whatever. It would be awesome to see. I would love to see this. Um, you know, just because it was a great story. And uh, it, 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 it evolved the X-Men to just more than just, um, you know, uh, fighting for basically mutant rights. It was basically the X-Men fighting for survival. And, uh, you know, and it fits the whole apocalypse theme and his 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 motto and stuff like that so i think it would be great it it would so sort sort of coincide with the days of features past and uh, i think it would be cool to kind of revisit that and i don't know that's just my opinion but uh you know i think this would be great um especially having magneto as a lead role and being the leader uh you know being the per pretty much being the star of the movie uh, which I think he is about time he gets a good guy role and bees, you know. In other words, I just really would like to see Magneto in a lead role uh, as the hero, and I think that would be incredibly awesome. And he's it's pretty much he's pretty much overdue for it. Uh, last but not least, uh, I think uh, for the Age of Apocalypse type of uh, movie, if it ever happened, I would like to see uh, Morph, aka uh, Changeling. Uh, we know, uh, of Morph, uh, from the old, uh, X-Men animated movie, or animated series, uh, but Changeling is actually his real name in the 616, uh, universe, not his real name, but it's his, his, his superhero name. Um, obviously he'd be the comic relief of the, of the movie, um, you know, because basically he can change his shape into anything. He changed into wacky, wacky things and stuff like that. Uh, but he did play a pretty good role, pretty big role in the Age of Apocalypse uh, storyline in the comics. Uh, so uh, I think that would be uh, a pretty nice fit for 
uh, for the movie. And if you're unfamiliar about this character, uh, yeah, there you go. This is Morph right here from the animated series. But um, yeah, I think uh, you know. Hopefully, this happens. I'm hoping uh, you know we see more X Men. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys th thought about the movie if you've seen it in the comments below. Uh, you know, are you looking forward to more Mutant Mayhem? Uh, what would you like to see if there's another sequel? Uh, any other characters? Uh, mutants? Um, you know, anything else? So, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I, I might do another video. I might make that Apocalypse video. Uh, you know, if you guys would like, uh, let me know if you guys' thoughts on it. Uh, if you'd like to see the uh, Apocalypse and for a horseman and you know, who are a uh, horseman over the years, uh, how he got his powers, well, just, if you guys want it, let me know, and I'll uh, probably make it. Uh, other than that, uh, that's it for now. Take care, guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon.